Hello everyone and welcome to Chat with Nene Alice. If this is your first time tuning in to Chat with Nene Alice, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to send in your comments. Viewers also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first person to know whenever I post any new video. Today I want us to have a conversation on how to start a conversation. Uh, most of the time we go out we mingle with people, but we don't know how to start a conversation with people. And so sometimes we just, we're just there and we come back and we, we, we did not interact. We did not, you know, make, make new contact, you know, and then we, we, we begin to ask ourselves, why did I attend that event? But I want to let you know that starting a conversation is very good. Networking with people is also very good. So today I have some few points that I want to let you know about so that you can use those tips, you know, to, you know, to start a conversation with anyone. Firstly, when you go out, you know, of course, when you meet people, you need to say hello, hi, you know, and all the rest. But the first thing you do after saying hello, hi, after, you know, extending greetings to one another, you must, the best way to start is to talk about something you both agreed on agree on i mean the fact that you are both there for a particular event it means both of you agree to attend that event and you believe in that particular event so you can say something connect that is connecting you to that event for example you are in a network in events about you know women and children you can work to anyone Work to anyone, introduce yourself and say, do you work with women and children? Or if you're there on another event, say for example, you're there on, on a fashion show, you can walk up to that individual and say, what type of fashion are you, are you into women's fashion or, you know, or men's fashion? So you just you know, present yourself as if you're very curious to know about that person. Secondly. You can say you are invited to this dinner or to this event by one of your friends. You can tell the person how you got you know, connected to this event. Tell them that one of my friends invited me and I think it's something that I should come you know, and be a part of. And then you get the conversation started. So how do you know how to move on from that point? You can also ask, say for example, a friend, you know, connected you to this event and both of you, you know, are also friends, friends to that friend. You can also ask that person, how do you know about this friend? How do you know about this event? You know, and then you begin to talk. For example, you can start by saying that um, the theme of the event is appropriate. I like it. And I think it's something that um, we, we should be talking about all the time. So you start with, you know, with that situation and you'll see how that can move you from one conversation of just introducing yourself, you know, to getting to know some more things. Whenever you meet people in an event, just ask what's their relationship with the theme of the event. Just ask that. If it is a fashion event, you already know what it is and how it will be looking, how it will look like. Maybe you talk about some of the details, and maybe talk about some of the decoration, you know, talk about, you know, some of the people that you have met, you know. And then if the event is about um, fashion, just tell them your best fashion. So my best fashion is women's wear. I like to be, you know, I like women's wear. Or if it's men's wear, I like men's wear. Just let, let them know what you like. Okay? And then you keep talking. You can also clean glasses together so that you start the conversation. The other one is you move from those uh, um, um, little one that you have started and then you move to a bigger one. You move to a larger concept, co context, your facts and opinion. You know, you go into each other's history and relationship about the theme and the event. You talk about what each of you did before, you know, or what you're doing at the moment. 
you can also share basic facts about your lives tell them yeah i work for this organization and this organization is involved in this and i've been in this organization for so and so years you know just tell them a little bit so that that person might feel confident also to share his or her own information with you you share basic facts about your lives if you want to tell them if you're married you tell them if you're single if you have kids i know share a joke about what one of your kids said to you before leaving or during the day you know just something that you think might interest that person or that might lead to a laugh you ask things like how long have you been, you know, um, an activist, somebody who has been working for women and, and children? What made you want to work in that particular area? You share all of that. You try to make conversation even more interesting. Try to make the conversation interesting, switch to sharing other opinions or just facts, you know. Start um, getting conversation go in and get to know each other the more ask more and more information follow you know ask some other give some other examples you know maybe you can share something about your colleagues or your boss to say oh my boss is this person that is involved in this and the involved is interested in in children's work and i'm much into you know women's work but we meet at a point where we talk about women and girls you know, when you start sharing personal opinions, you are no longer a stranger. You are approaching acquaintance, you're getting into territory, even if you just, you have just met. Okay. And um, it's the same thing with any subjects, you know, try to get share, you know, try to start to share your opinions and contribute your own opinion about something that you know. Another one is to find commonalities and point them out, okay? This is not just the, you know, just, just you talking about the theme. You share basic facts from your lives and opinions about the subject. You know, notice what you have in common. But again, the things you share is too common, you know, at the beginning, you share those common things. Both of you are invited to this program, so it means you share things things in common so what you do now is begin to point out things that are not common that everybody is not talking about for example maybe you like to go to a certain place or a certain town or you want to start a certain activity or maybe both of you think that one type of movie you like a particular movie and you you want to you know just talk about that movie and you share your what you learned from that movie and what you like the more uncommon the, the things you have in common, the more it brings you closer, you know, and the more you can get excited to be able to point out some other things out. Also, go beyond the commonalities. Find somewhere that you can hook onto. For example, maybe both of you like to go, like to, um, like photos, you like pictures. You can ask that person to say can we go and have a snapshot together talk about something that you know a general idea say i like pictures and that's why i like to get the very best of cameras you know so that that individual will you know will will, will like what you're talking about it can be something more simple like just an example that i have given you like say you want to work on a sector say yes i work on women and children but then i think i want to go into women's health how do you see that? You know, and maybe you, that person can explain to you that I am also into women's health and these are the things that I see. And it can be something more simple. You, you like to say you work in a particular sector. And in that case, you talk about the idea of you meeting again, you know, even after this. And, and what you like to, to meet on, you can... You can discuss the things that you like to, you know, when we meet next time, what you talk about. And the other good thing is, if you do not have a complimentary card, please try and get one. Because at the end of the conversation, or maybe at the end of the program, you both are leaving each other. You you will want to, to share your contact details. So you need to exchange your card. And as somebody who likes to network or who likes to have conversation with people, don't forget to exchange 
your information. You give your complimentary card to say, here yeah, is my card. I would like us to meet again. And I would like us to have a conversation again. Maybe you can make an appointment to say, we'll meet on this day next week and we'll meet over dinner and we'll have, we'll have a conversation. Because you are interested in the conversation, you can take the move. You know, even when you go back to send just a text to say, it was a pleasure meeting you. I enjoyed every bit of the company. You don't need to have to directly ask for your contact for contact information. Just give your card and then there you go. Don't forget to follow up. Don't forget to follow up so that you, you can, you know, continue to have more and more conversation and know yourself better. I want to tell you that people who have made great friends, you know, started with, with just a little conversation of, hi, how are you? Where do you work or where do I, or where are you coming from? And then after that, the conversation went deeper and deeper and deeper. And today they are best of friends. I have, I have met so many people through this particular way, ways that I have explained to you. I hope these tips are useful. And please don't be shy to make new contacts. Don't be shy to make new, new friends. Have fun in making new friends. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of your day. If this is your first time tuning in to chat with Nene Alice, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to send me a comment. Thank you.